word to the cloud. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll have enough room in my cloud space. I'm sure I will. Let's just do a quick tune just to make sure you're in tune here. So there's the first string. Second string. Third string. Fourth string. I'm glad I'm doing this. Fifth string. Time alone 
alone will tell the story of the glory of true love. Do another one. Illegal smile. Sometimes, oh no, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking of the blo the uh, Spanish pipe dream. Spanish pipe dream. We'll save illegal smile for another time. Okay. These all came out of the same book too. These came out of a, an amazing um, book that just has all his songs with all the, the chords. On my way to Montreal Well, she pressed her chest against me About the time that the jukebox broke She gave me a peck on the back of the neck These are the words she spoke Blow up your TV Throw away your paper Go to the country Build you a home Plant a little garden a lot of peaches Try to find Jesus On your own D G Well I sat there at the table Acted real naive For I knew that topless lady Had something up her sleeve But she danced around the bar room did the hoochie coo She sang her song all night long Telling me what to do Blow up your TV Throw away your paper Go to the country Build you a home Plant a little garden Eat a lot of peaches Try and find Jesus On young and hungry and about to leave that place when just as I was leaving well she looked me in the face I said you must know the answer she said no but I'll give it a try and at this very day we've been living our way here is the reason why we blew up our TV threw away our paper went to the country Built us a home Had a lot of children Fed them on peaches They all found Jesus On their own D And ends on G Looking out my back door. That just that fits right into the same kind of groove. Here we go. I was thinking that we might lose power this evening on account of wind, but it seems like we're not going to, right? The night is young. The night is young. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Could get wild. I don't know. I feel like they say things and then it it's just like it's just like uh what's it called when it's sensationalism. It's just kind of like gratuitous sensationalism like the atmospheric river. 
It was just a little rainy. It wasn't a, it was like modern. Oh, it was sunny. <laughs> yeah, it was sunny. It was sunny. I got a different impression, interpretation of, I don't know, I, I think differently when I hear Atmospheric River now. I think, oh, a little rain. Over in Vancouver, it was 120 centimeters, though. <laughs> Holy! Okay, well... And I was there. <laughs> really? What area were you yeah. in, Mary? Well, just Mount Pleasant, Broadway, Kent. But, uh, yeah, 120 centimeters. <laughs> what? So it was pretty, it was pretty rainy. It rained cats and dogs. <laughs> Good Lord. Wait a second, did you say 120 centimeters? Like yes. a meter of water? Yes, the North, the North Shore got 160 centimeters. I mean, it just poured what? for three days. <laughs> centimeters, not millimeters, yes. centimeters? Oh my. Oh, okay, millimeters. Or okay. whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Like whatever the measurement is. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, that's a that's a You get that's the a idea. lot of rain. <laughs> Crazy. I miss Vancouver for the for that reason. I really like the rain. The reason I'm kind of I'm going on about it is because I I wanted to I wanted that. I was really looking forward to getting into that. I really seriously. But hey, Mm, okay, here we go. Looking out my back door. We'll do the intro a couple times here. I'm just getting setting it up. From the top, we got G, E minor, C, G, D, G. Just got home from Illinois. Lock the front door, oh boy Got to sit down, take a rest on the porch Imagination sets in Pretty soon I'm singing Do, 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 look now my back door It's dying, wearing car wheels Statue wearing high heels Look at all the happy creatures dancing on the lawn Dinosaur Victrola listening to Buck Owens Do, do, do looking out my back door Tambourines and elephants are playing in the band Won't you take a ride on the flying spoon Do, do, do wondrous apparition Lighted by magician Do, do, do Looking out my back door Bum, 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 dum, dum Bum, bum, dum, 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 dum Dum, do, 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 do Dum, ba, dum Bum, bum, dum, 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 dum Bum, bum, dum, 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 dum Tambourines. Tambourines and elephants are playing in the band. Won't you take a ride on the flying spoon? Do, 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 bother me tomorrow. Today I'll buy no sorrows. Do, 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 looking out my back door. Third verse, forward troubles, Illinois. Lock the front door, oh boy. Look at all the happy creatures dancing on the lawn. Follow me tomorrow. Today I'll buy no sorrow. Do, do, do. Looking out my back door. Intro chords. Bum, dum, 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 dum. E minor. Dum, 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 dum. Last line. Do, do, do. Looking. Now my back door. I, I had it. In, I was trying to remember how the ending, how they are, do the ending arrangement in my head while we were doing it. So they definitely slow it down, and then I guess they just do it again. The doot doot do is not up here. Good one. 
Hey, Mark, how are you? Good. Nice to see you. Great. Looking out my back door. Um, oh, how about we do... Um, should we do another CCR song? Should we do Bad Moon Rise? And that was kind of fun the other night. Let's do it. I see bad moon rising. Let's put the capo on. Um. Let's see. Where should we put the capo? Let's put the capo on five. And what key are we in? If we put the capo on five. <clears throat> Gotta put the music up. Okay. <laughs> S that's right. C. Capo on five. It says tempo 90. I wonder what that would, I guess that's the, uh, I'm not going to bust up the me metronome right now. We know this is a pretty fast song. It would seem to work out pretty well if we do it so, because the chords change quite quickly, so we won't do it that fast. One, two, three, four, here's the tempo intro. Bum, bum, DC that again G D C I'm gonna slow it down I realize that's pretty fast G D C G Let's do it one more time so we got the one chord five chord four chord one chord here we go I see a bad moon rising I see trouble on the way I see earthquakes and lightning I see bad times today don't go around tonight well it's bound to take your life there's a bad moon on the rise I hear hurricanes are blowing I know the end is coming soon I fear rivers overflowing I hear the voice of rage and ruin Don't go round tonight Well it's bound to take your life there's a bad moon on the rise. Do 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 Hope you are quite prepared to die Looks like we're in for nasty weather One eye is taken for an eye Don't go around tonight Well, it's bound to take your life There's a bad moon don't go around tonight Well, it's bound to take your life There's a bad moon on the rise Wow, that really reminds me 
of the um if i say that that reminds me of frank oz now this is like hollywood or it's like a game show why would that remind me of frank oz why would that song remind how does that song remind one of frank oz anyone anyone do, 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 do. Uh, well, I, don't, I don't even know who frank oz is <laughs> Frank Sorry. Oz is uh, <laughs> who's Frank Oz? Frank Oz is um is um Yoda. Frank Oz is Miss Piggy. Frank Oz is uh he's a he's a voice of a lot of uh of those Muppets, and he's one of the original. He, was he Bert? Bert from Bert and Ernie. Frank Oz and Jim Henson. Frank Oz was in the movie Werewolves of London. I mean, American Werewolf in London. He was in that movie, and that song figured Bad Moon Rise and figured prominently in American Werewolf in London. Has anybody seen American Werewolf in London? Am I living in a different... What the... Okay. Well, I feel a little bit better anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Does anyone know this song? Anybody know this song? I've heard it before. Hum a few bars. Nope. <laughs> nope. Let's do something else. I don't really want to do that one. Let's do something else. Let's do, um, let's see. Where should we go? Where should we go from this? No. Was that yes, Rob? Was that yes for Werewolves of London, or was that yes for? Yes, I know it. I mean, I've, I, I oh. know. It. Yeah. Yes, I know it. <laughs> that one I know. I don't know Oz, but I know that song, Zevon. <laughs> or Zevon. Amer I think American Werewolf in London was like a cult classic movie from the seventies or something like that. Is that a full drum kit behind you, Rob? Yeah, how's the drumming going? Well, I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Yeah. Let's do, yeah. um, let's do rock... instruments for a full band. You just need to get a bass. Let's do Rocket Man. Talking about Expo 67, talking about the astronauts. It's always fun talking about astronauts. We didn't really pay tribute to William Shatner last week. So <clears throat> let's throw the capo on three. Wow. Hi, Esther. Nice to see you. And Shannon, too. Great. This is a nice group. <laughs> Shannon, hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Thanks, you too. Just in time, we're gonna do um, we're gonna do Rocket Man. We were talking about Expo sixty seven astronauts. Started talking about William Shatner. Nice. So from this kind of uh, from for the English kind of or British rock, I don't know how. British pop, this E minor to A7 is really common. There's a lot of it in Pink Floyd. There's a lot of it in um, Coldplay and uh, Radiohead and uh, Oasis. And it's just kind of a common progression. So play the E minor and then play this as an A7. Always play the A as an A7. When I do this, can you see my mouse? Can you see my cursor circling around there? Okay, good. A7, E minor, oh and the capo's on three, sorry, capo on the third fret, E minor, A7, okay here we go, she packed my 
my bag last night pre flight. Zero hour, nine a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. D7. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife It's lonely out in space On such a time It's like D7 And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man I think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning up his fuse up here alone And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again I'm not the man I think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out his fuse up here alone Second verse Mars ain't the kind of place to raise your kids It's cold as hell And there's no one there to raise them If you did And all this science I don't understand It's just my job five days a week Long, long time to touch down brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no, 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 I'm a rocket man, rocket man, burning up his fuse up here alone. Chorus again, and I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning up his fuse up here alone And I think it's gonna be a long, long time gonna be a long, long time, and I think it's gonna be a long, long time, and I think it's gonna be a long, long time. done that for a long long time let's do another one of those and then we'll do another one we just haven't played your song for so long it just made me think oh we gotta play this just so I don't forget it And the capo's on the third fret still, so we'll just leave it there. And we'll work this one. So this one, uh, ah, there we go. Um, 
it's got this little walk down a minor to G to F sharp and then the F chord so let's just take a look at that isolate that for a second so just play an A minor chord I'll just stop the share here for a second so with the capo on the third fret you play your A minor as you would and then you can take your third finger or you can do it with your pinky I'm gonna do it with my third the only finger I move is my third finger and I put it on the third fret of the sixth string. So that's the first thing. So there's A minor, put your third finger here. And then for the next one, we're just gonna walk the bass line down. So put your middle finger on the second fret of the sixth string. And now the trick is you gotta put your other two fingers back into kind of a A minor position. So. So from here, you could go, okay, well, start with an A minor chord, and then instead of putting the G on, which this note is, which now you know, put the F sharp on, which is on the second fret. So go from an A minor chord to taking your middle finger and putting it on the second fret of the sixth string. Okay, so the, we've got three chords that we're dealing with. We're doing the A minor chord, and then we're gonna do the G in the bass, and then we're gonna do it without going to the A minor first with the F sharp on that note there. Here's an easier way to do it, or another way to do it. It's not easier, it's just a different way. If you play your A minor chord, you could try putting your pinky on the third fret of the G, the G note there. And then when you go to this next chord, all you have to do is move your middle finger over. It's a really common guitar device, so it's worth checking out. Like you think this song, I, I live at the mall, see the love that that sleeping. While my guitar, like this, it's just a really common guitar device that's worth learning. So here's the fast motion, motion, sorry, A minor, put your middle finger there, and then I'll slow it right down again. So we've got the A minor. I'm going to go back to the original way that I showed it, where you just put your third finger on the G note, everything else stays the same. And then, notice for that chord there, the F sharp over A minor, your index finger is there the whole time. In fact, for that whole time, the whole process, and here's what it sounds like again. Watch my index finger. It doesn't go anywhere. So your index finger is in the spot it would be for an A minor or a C chord. With the G, with the F sharp, and then you go to an F chord. So, I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put it down in words. That's what that's going to be, right? With the G, with the F sharp. Any questions or you kind of getting it? Is it some people probably already have that? Give it a try. Here we go. Take a chance. It's recorded now. You can work on that section if you want. I'll send it out. I hope that was clear enough. And we'll do it a little bit slower. So here we go. Um, Here's making you jump. Let's start by doing this little chord progression. See at the very bottom, the C to the F to the G to the F to the C. So here we go. One, two, three, C, F, G, F, C. It's a little bit funny. This feeling inside I'm not one of those Who can easily hide I don't have much
much money But boy if I did I'd buy a big house where we both could live If I was a sculptor But then again no Or a man who makes potions in a traveling show Well I know it's not much But it's the best I can do My gift is my song And this one's for you Two, three, four And you can tell everybody That this is your song Quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is while you're in the world. I sat on the roof. Off the moss. Well, a few of the verses, well, they've got me quite cross. But the sun's been quite kind while I wrote this song. It's for people like you that keep it turned on. Forgetting, but these things I do. You see, I've forgotten if they're green or the blue. Anyway, the thing is, what I really mean. Yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. Everybody, that this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is when y'all. At the bottom I hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind That I put down in words How wonderful Life is When you're in the to keep that keep that in there moon shadow here we go okay um no capo capo off <laughs> The reason I put the the G in brackets and the A in brackets is because it's kind of implied by the, the bass. And so if you don't play the chord, it still sounds pretty good. Let me show you just one thing while we're in, since we were talking about moving bass lines. So if you play a D chord, Move your move your index finger or sorry your middle finger and play that this note here on the third fret of the sixth string. That's a G, right? Yeah. 
shadow. You don't have to move anything else, you can just play that one little note. So you don't have to think, I've got to do a completely different shape. You can just recognize that you don't have to do much to go between chords. And that's one of the reasons why I like to keep the chords that we have, like playing in the key of G and playing in the key of C and using all these first position chords as opposed to playing bar chords. Because they have common notes between them, so they kind of flow into each other quite nicely. Like the, the fewer actual notes you change, the smoother everything's going to be. Like if I was to play... Followed by a moon shadow. There's a lot of movement there, and that's an example of the bar chords as opposed to... I'm being followed by a moon shadow. It just, there's more notes that are held over, so it's a little bit more fluent. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Great, great. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it at a kind of a even tempo, kind of slow, because there's a quite a quick series of chords in the verses. Here we go. I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow, leaping and a hopping on a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. And if I ever lose my hands, lose my plow, lose my lands, if I ever lose my hands, I won't have to work no more And if I ever lose my eyes If my colors all run dry Yes, if I ever lose my eyes If I won't have to cry no more I'm being followed by a moon shadow Moon shadow, moon shadow shadow, leaping and hopping on a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow, and if I ever lose my legs, I won't moan and I won't beg, if I ever lose my legs, if I won't have to walk no and if I ever lose my mouth, all my teeth, north and south, yes, if I ever lose my mouth, if I won't have to talk, I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow, leaping and a hopping on a moon. Shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow, third part. Did it take long to find me? I asked the faithful lion. Did it take long to find me? And are you gonna stay the night? I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. And hopping on a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. <clears throat> I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. Leaping and a hopping on a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. Quick, a clippy one. A... Nice. Just a question about that when you're doing a D to G, just with moving on. Do you play the whole G all the way through or are you just playing the one string? Well, I was kind of experimenting. I wanted to show that first because like if you just use the one note, 
and then now play all the strings. You get quite a pretty sounding chord. It's like a suspended chord. It's like an ad, or an add. It's like an add nine chord. But if you take the only one that's making the difference, this is creating that quality. So if you take your index finger off and turn it into like this kind of a G chord, then that's great too. Or if you just take your pinky off, you could have that, or you could leave, you know, like any combination of those without getting too ambiguous, but it is very ambiguous. Some people just play G, G chords like this without the index finger at all, right? So, I was experimenting with that a little because in the verses it goes, and if I, or if I ever lose my mind, whatever, do, 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 bum, bum. So you can go, with leaving this there the whole time, right? Like we do in yellow, for example. So that's using a different fingering for the G, which makes it really easy to go back and forth from G to D. So when we're in the key of D, G is what? D, E, F, the four chord, right? And so uh, idiomatic to the guitar and to a lot of songwriting, that's a device in itself. So often if I'm playing in the key of D, or if I'm if there's a lot of movement from the G to the D chord, I'll use this fingering for the G. Not this fingering, not the third finger, but the second finger there. And then play the G with the pinky on the third fret. And then on the second string, you can have the third finger on the third fret. Right? Like we used to do with wheat kings all the time like the way that i used to teach wheat, wheat kings exclusively where you just go back and forth between those two so this finger is always on the d so i hope i hope i got around to answering your question in all that yeah 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 you did thanks <laughs> yeah because i i found a different note that like, it sounded better like the, oh, good. Second, the second version that you were talking about with the x yeah like like um, well, you went on mute all of a sudden, but I guess you let go of the space bar, so we can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, I found it. Yeah, one. that's good. Yeah, it looks that looks right. Yeah, and when you're going quickly from chord to chord like that, that's a good way to to do it for sure. Perfect example. So with this one, that's exactly, it's a, it's a nice lead in. Perfect. Thank you, Taryn. So do that, try that fingering, just do this. So. so we've got a D and then you can go to the G, leave this note where it is. And then you go from G, That's something you're just gonna have to. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, sorry. What was that, Mark? Are you leaving your pinky on the third fret of the first string all the way through? Let me find out. Let's see. Uh. Oops. Sorry. No, not when I'm doing the D chord, because that's where the melody is. It's like. So you got to kind of get that melody in also, right? If you want to have, if you want to experiment with something, you could just play this for the whole song. Three, two,
that works for the whole song really nicely. And by the end of it, you know, like in a symphony or in a in a when you're playing a part in an ensemble, someone might have to do that the whole time. And you get into a, a groove. Like the bass player, that's what bass players do. They have like sometimes one, two or three notes and they just play it for the whole song and they just lock in and it's a meditation, right? Like you can if you were to just pick this The rhythm's a little trickier than it might seem. Three, two, oh. I'm doing two things, right? I'm not suggesting that you do both of the things. I'm not suggesting that you do what I was just doing now. Either do this. Just on one string or try to assemble that into the chords. Uh, let's go let's go to the chords. Okay. I'm going to just go for it. I've left out part of that, I'm trying to explain part, so I'm just going to leave it up to our instinct. So I don't, yeah, let's just go for it. So here we go from the top, from the, the chords at the beginning. I'm going to start just on the single string though. Three, two, oh, two, three, three, two, oh, here's the chords.
could end on a D chord. There's a, I, I'll just leave it at that. I gotta redo this. Th these aren't the right words. I want a Black Dawn over Mulholland. I'm pretty sure it's I want a something something over Mulholland. I want to write her name in the sky. Sorry about that. I should have edited this before I. But hey. Mental note. Redo this chart, because that doesn't make sense. I want to write through my name in the sky. That's not it. Knocking on heaven's door. On to the next. Okay. Did anybody do that? Did anybody go? Yeah, good. Satisfying, hey? Great. I'm glad. That will, that is a value. That's a great thing to do. How, what, what do you think of it now that you've done it? Was it uh, hard to keep on track? Or I just played with you when you were playing it. Ding ding. You mean when we? You mean and what did you do during the chord parts? Just the chords. Oh, oh, I I just played the chords, but okay. I did the the single notes at the end. Nice. Esther, what did you do? Did you do the single notes the whole time? Yeah. I did it the whole time, and wow. I couldn't sing the lyrics because I could only focus on that. That's a, it's hard. It's really hard. To be honest, I was wondering if I was going to be able to do it. Like I was putting myself to the test. But the thing is, if you, as long as the strumming is the same throughout, right? But that was, um, yeah, that was a good one. That's one of these like rubbing your belly, which isn't as hard as may people make it sound. Rubbing your belly, patting your head. If you can't do that at this point, well, I mean, maybe it's, yeah. Anyways, I won't talk. Let's do another song. <laughs> for some people, that is extremely difficult, patting their head and rubbing their bellies. And for others, you might take it for granted. Maybe it's like the, the old, like, you can curl your tongue this way. It's like a gene thing, perhaps. I don't know. Getting too esoteric. Knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> Take this. Let's put the capo on three. Let's play in the key of B flat. That's always kind of a nice treat. I keep looking at the screen. I keep seeing Rob's. You got the green check. Yes. And I, I think yes. Positive affirmation. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's stuck on there. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, <it's> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. The who, who, who's? Two, three, G. Shoot them anymore. 
That long black cloud is coming down Feels like I'm a knocking on heaven's door mm. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Let's go back to the first verse again. Mama, take this. Off me, I can't use it anymore. It's getting dark, too dark to see. I feel like I'm knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Dirty old town to to learn it. It's true. It's only got two verses. It's true. And every everybody should know it from their student days. From their student days. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you mean like they're. <laughs> I guess I know what you mean. I guess my student day is I. Li you mean because we we all went to the Tacoma Dome together and watched Guns N' Roses <laughs> in 1980, 1989. <laughs> or we're going back to '67 or so. Or we're going. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those ones that comes around. So yeah, it's true. It is a real. It's interesting thinking I. I just can't get Axl Rose's head head out of my mind. His mind out, of, his voice out of my head. It's funny. And and the swaying, he's always doing that. You know, when he's singing, he's always doing the swaying. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's swaying. He's like really kind of yeah. What a performer. But, it, but I guess we're talking about the Dylan version. I mean, I don't even know how the Dylan version affected people at the time. I guess um, in a similar kind of way. Well, probably in a, in a more authentic way, I would guess. I don't know. I, I guess there are, there are a lot more verses than just two. 
Well, I'd be I'd be really interested in that actually. There must be because those two verses kind of don't seem like they tell the whole story. And if you look at other Dylan songs, he's got at least he's got he's he's got things to say, right? Like I'm sure he could have come up with quite a few verses. So yeah, I would be interested in. But sometimes he keeps it pretty pretty concise, right? Like uh, there'll just be several several verses. Hmm. Wow. It's just just two verses on the Guns N' Roses version. What about the Dylan? What about the Dylan version? Let's see. Also, what else? Any other suggestions for songs that we could play? Anybody got ones they want to, um, they've been thinking about doing? That song, Vincent, by the way, is a very um, great song. Thanks for posting that, Esther. That's, I remember listening to that before and having, and then um, it's nice to, to remember it again. It's an intense song. It's a kind of an intense subject, too. I never really watched him. Um, it's funny having heard American Pie a million times and not actually seen him play to get a sense of what he's kind of like you know it, it was really great to, to see him and kind of get a sense of who he is particularly with a different song than american pie i'm talking about vincent van gogh it's, it's a heavy song um i kind of want to do come on up to the house do come on up to the house. I just had a rehearsal before this today and for the 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 Tom Waits gig that I'm doing on the Friday the 30th. And we've got he's got such he's just got all these really dark dark songs dark 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 songs so we were doing all these dark songs it's like we gotta do something a little less dark so we added this to the um the set not that it's not dark or anything like that but it's a little more uplifting than some of his other looks pretty dark to me <laughs> i guess so yeah oh no this isn't the one this is another dark one every single one's dark no, this is more like a gospel song. You could, this could be a Christmas song for all that, for that matter, I guess. But that. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Capo three. Sorry if I didn't, if I didn't specify. Capo in the third fret. One, two, three. Well, the moon is broken and the sky is cracked. Come on up to the house. The only things that you can see is all that you lack. Come on up to the house. Crying don't do no good. Come on up to the house. Come down off the cross. We can use the wood. Come on up to the house. Come on up to the house. house the world is not my home I'm just a passing through come on up to the house there's no light in the tunnel no irons in the fire come on up to the house 
around no in a junk man's choir Come on up to the house Does life seem nasty, brutish and short? Come on up to the house The seas are stormy and you can't find no port Come on up Come on up to the house Come on up to the house The world is not my home I'm just a passing through Come on up to the house there's nothing in the world that you can do. Come on up to the house. And you've been whipped by the forces that are inside you. Come on up to the house. Well, you're high on top. Of your mountain of woe Come on up to the house Well, you know you should surrender But you can't let go You've got to come on up to the house Come on up to the house Passing through, you got to come on up to the house. The world is not my home, I'm just passing through. Come on up to the house. Wow, the sound of silence. <sighs> okay. Yikes. I've got a green arrow like you, Rob. <laughs> and Mary. Was that for sound of silence, Mary? Or was that just to get in with the green arrow gang there? Uh, the sound of silence? Why am I? Oh, there it is. It's under the. It's the sound of silence. That's what it's called. And I watched the Paul Simon one with the, um, the Paul Simon 911. Uh, that was pretty moving, eh? It's pretty heavy. It's a bit much. I was <laughs> kind of yeah. felt like I didn't want to be watching it. But then I couldn't turn it off. I was like, oh no. His, his guitar work on that was so amazing. Yeah, that is quite nice. That's really nice. And he just turned 80 last week. Really, hey? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. He was supposed to do a big tour before what well, was like a couple years ago, right? Or a year and a half ago. He was on tour and he was going to come to Victoria. That was like his first stop, right? Really? Wow. That would have been amazing. Well, maybe he'll pick it up again. Maybe. I noticed that in that version um, where he plays it, he's got the capo on the third fret. I wonder if that's too low. Um, that's pretty low. Let's put it where we usually put it, on the sixth fret. Let's put it on six. Thank you. 
So if you're keeping track of learning the notes on the fifth string, because you probably got the notes on the sixth string all figured out, the note on the sixth fret of the fifth string is E flat. So we're playing in the key of E flat minor. And for the first chord, it's A minor, but just take your index finger off. And then I'm playing third string, three, one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three, one. I'm playing it pretty fast, but three, one, two, one, three, one. Or you can just go. Darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping, and the vision that was planted in my brain. I've walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turn my collar to the cold and down When my eyes were stout By the flash of a neon light That split the night Touch the sound of silence And in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people, maybe more People talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing songs that voices never share and no one dare disturb the sounds of silence fool said I you do not know silence like a cancer grows hear my words that I might teach you Take my arms that I might reach you, but my words like silent raindrops fell and echoed in the wells of silence. And the people bowed and prayed to the neon god they made. And the sign flashed out its warning In the words that it was for me And the sign said the words of the prophets are Written on the subway walls In tenant halls Whisper the sounds of silence Okay. How about a little cheery little number for the end? What should we do? Yeah, What's something the... happy. Yeah? What's the happiest one we have? Is there is there such thing as the happiest? I think it depends on the on what preceded it. How about three little birds? Three little birds is a a lovely little number. Let's do it. This is the one we memorized. 
this is the first one that we thought about memorizing. <clears throat> I'm going to put it up anyway, so. I'll put it like this, and then you can, it's just, <laughs> it's memorized. So we got the one chord, we got the four chord. It's just a one four. It just goes back and forth from the G to the C. In the verse, it's a little different. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Thanks Aaron. Much. Have a lovely weekend. Okay. And you, you too, everybody. everybody.